Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Monday, September 16th, 2024. We are back with our NFL best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Let's recap yesterday's results. So, Mondays and Thursdays have been pretty good to us overall for the NFL season. Sunday has not been. Yesterday, we did not have a good day whatsoever. Uh, we, I'll, just, I'll just roll through it really quick. Members only best bets. Cardinals money line. Dub. You'd love to see that. That was an easy dub. Never much of a doubt there. Chiefs minus five and a half. I, I mean, they, they just couldn't cover. I mean, there were some really bad penalties they had that really cost us there. Uh, Seahawks minus three and a half. I can't believe they wouldn't go for a touchdown in overtime. I can't believe they let the Patriots back in this game. Just unbelievable. They, it, you know, this whole game is different if they don't get stuffed on fourth and one on like this, on like the Patriots twenty in like the third quarter. I really believe that's a substantial difference there. Um, members only forty five over forty five now. Chicago and Houston. I mean, Chicago made the Houston defense look like the damn eighty five Bears. But Caleb Williams. I mean, he just took a shit. On the uh, on on the Houston field yesterday in the second quarter, in the second half, excuse me, that was so bad. Uh, Lions minus seven and a half. is didn't play well. I mean, it is what it is. They didn't play well. Uh, Redskins money line. We got a dub there. Vikings plus four and a half. Outright win. Love to see that. And then we just, I mean, we just got we got brutalized, man. Jags minus three. I mean, Trevor played like garbage yesterday. It wasn't good. Uh, Broncos plus three. Interception in the end zone is what killed us. If they don't do, if if Bo Nix doesn't throw that horrible pass, we might be able to get in there. And then that game's completely different. Uh, Ravens minus eight and a half. They're up by 10 uh, in the fourth quarter and lost the game outright. I mean, that is just such bad coaching. Lamar does this all the time, man. He just lets these teams, lets these games happen. And the Colts minus two and a half. I said it was a tra I might be a trap yesterday, and we walked right into that trap. Malik Willis didn't even look good. The Colts just looked like garbage. And listen, overall for the year, we're 16 and 22. Now, a few things I'm going to say about about yesterday and about the record. First things first, oh, except we got to be better than that. And we will be better than that starting today. But secondly is this, this is exactly what happened last year. We had a tough week one, week two in the NFL. We had a fantastic next 16 weeks. And that's the thing to also remember. We have 16 more regular season weeks and we have four playoff weeks. So we have at least, we have at least 20 plus Super Bowl. So 21 more weeks of the NFL season. And we're going to turn it around. That's how it was last year. We're going to do the exact same thing here because last year we had 218 and 144, 54 and 24 on best bets, plus 73.14 units overall for the year. So here's the deal. If you like to fade us, fantastic. You made a lot of money the last you know, these last two Sundays. Mondays and Thursdays were tough for you. But overall, like the, the you guys have had, you've had a good little run. The good thing is if you're fading us, you better have got us now because we are turning it around today. We have a massive Monday Night Football card. I really like the plays that I've got today. I have got two members only best bets along with one of the MLB. So three ML, three members only best bets that I love. And even with a tough, horrible day yesterday, our members only best bets are hitting 65% for this week. So we're in a pretty good spot profitability wise overall. Yesterday just kind of sucked. Um, but three members only best bets in total, 65 bucks for today. Become a member at ZDMBest.com. Go upstairs, link in the comments below. Um, but if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, like this video, the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these NFL videos every single day the NFL is on, um, along with college football. We're at a 21-7 college football run, by the way, just for the record. Um, we had a winning day in the MLB yesterday. We have a video out right now, so definitely check that out. And we have an NBA, NBA and NHL, and those are back on. Uh, we're going after our first 15,000 subs, so I'm excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So let's jump into the plays that we have today. I'm going to start with our first one. going to be John Robinson over 101.5 rush plus receiving yards. First things first, this is going to be like James Cook in the sense that they, I don't think the Eagles are having an answer for Bijan. The fact is, is that I think the, I, the last week, the Falcons looked like complete dog shit. And honestly, I think it could be a lot of the fact that the Steelers just have an amazing defense. That's honestly what I think it could be. Because the Steelers defense, they, look, they looked awesome. But they're going to lead on Bijan today. I don't think they're going to use Algier very much. They're going to use him a lot in the screen game. They're going to give him 15, 16, 17 rush attempts. And with this Eagles defense being what it is, even though they've got that bound kid from uh, Wisconsin who's really good, um, I don't really see who's going to match up well with Bijan in the pass game. And I think the I think the Falcons are going to play a lot better on the O line that they did last week. Now, and Bijan's also just has has the speed, the agility for just I mean, he, if he pops one here. I mean, we should be able to get over this number really well. They're going to use this guy a lot, especially since the Eagles pass rush is really good. So I think they're going to use the screen game a lot to be able to slow down that pass rush a little bit. And those, and those plays are going to go to Bijan. So you may Bijan over 101.5 rush and receiving yards. 
Next, you're with Devontae Smith, over five and a half catches. The, with A.J. Brown out, they're going to have to be targeting Devontae Smith a ton. The Atlanta secondary last week did not look good. And that was with Justin Fields and George Pickens. This is going to be with Jalen Hurts, who I don't think is that much better than Justin Fields. But Devontae Smith's a dog. And he's really, really good. They're going to use him a lot in the short passing game in particular. A.J. Brown's a bit of a deep threat, a big body deep threat, which is going to, which would be really difficult for the Falcons to take care of. But Devontae Smith, they're going to use him a lot in the intermediate short passing game. I think his catch number is the number we go after, not the, not the uh, receiving yard number. Give me Devontae Smith over five and a half catches today. Next one with Dallas Goddard over three and a half catches. Again, with A.J. Brown out. They're going to have to exploit some matchups that don't, don't revolve around A.J. Brown. And Dallas Goddard is Jalen, Jalen Hurts' security blanket, and they're going to be able to go after him today. Also, when you look at Dallas Goddard as well, I think his matchup against the Falcon linebackers are really, really good. And again, I don't, Dallas Goddard isn't a yak guy. He's not going to give you a lot of yards after catch, but I think he's going to be able to get a lot of like seven-yard hitch routes, five-yard out routes, so he gets tackled immediately. And this number, we should go way over the three and a half. So I love Dallas Goddard over three and a half catches. He should get at least four or five catches. Same thing with Devontae Smith. I think he'll get six or seven. And then we're going with the other tight end. We're going with the Falcons tight end, Kyle Pitts, over three and a half catches. They're going to use him for once. Because the thing that I think they're going to do with him, at least, especially in this game, is they're going to put him on the line. Because if you split him out, you don't really get the benefit that Kyle Pitts can give you with a big, basically a big body wide receiver. They'll be able to, they'll be able to guard him. But when it comes to Kyle Pitts, if they put him, if they if they put him in, like on the line, he should be able to go over this number all day long. Kyle Pitts is a dog. They've got to just use him. And I think they're going to use him today. The Eagles' safeties are terrible. So they're going to put safeties on him. Then, I mean, he should be able to eat them up. He should be able to have six, seven catches in this game. I love Kyle Pitts over three and a half catches today. Now, just so you guys know, like I said, we have three members only best bets. Three picks, 65 bucks. Members are hitting 65% of the time right now. You can get all those best bets at cdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all our members only plays every single day, which was profitable. Best bets on a day-to-day -day basis. On top of that, you have a direct line to meet. So any game you're considering betting, reach out to our hotline number, get a guaranteed response back about any game you're considering betting. And you get all our free picks too on YouTube sent to you before these videos come out. Better take advantage of early lines, early odds. Go to the site cdmbets.com slash picks. cdmbets.com slash picks. cdmbets.com slash picks. So guys, Let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some layouts. See you all tomorrow.